What's up guys, this is Coach Donnie with ElevateYourself.org. In this video I'll be doing an FAQ to respond to some of the frequently asked questions that some of you guys leave in the videos. And I apologize right now for not able to respond to a lot of the comments in the last three weeks. I usually try to respond to every single comment because I appreciate all of you guys taking the time to watch my videos and leaving your comments and sparking some interesting conversations. But as my channel grows, which is almost 60,000 subscribers, I'm getting anywhere from 30 to 40 comments a day. So it's really hard for me to work a full-time job, to coach on the side, and to be able to respond to all your comments. So thanks for your patience, and I'm making this video to address some of the most commonly asked questions that you guys have for me. The first question I get is, where are you from? I currently live in Union City, California, United States of America which is located in the San Francisco Bay Area for those of you who don't know where Union City is. Question number two, what volleyball do you use? A lot of my videos include some of my open gym volleyballs or the NCVA league games or tournaments. Majority of the time I'm using a Molten V5 M5000 which is one of the several FIVB approved volleyball for their professional games. Here's the actual ball that I use, Molten, FIVB approved. And right there, very small, you can see V5 M5000. And I also wrote my name in Sharpie. This ball was about 60 bucks. And for those of you guys who own your own volleyballs and really like bringing your own volleyballs to play with at tournaments and games, it's very easy to lose the balls, especially when you're sharing with someone or you're trying to be nice and you want to let somebody warm up with your ball. So I make sure I write my name on it so if it gets misplaced or people try to steal it or someone sees it somewhere, they know that it's mine. So make sure that you write your name on the ball. Some people even write their email addresses in case it gets lost so they can be returned to the original owner. Third question people ask is, what shoes are you wearing? I've gone through several shoes in the last two years, so I'll be talking about three of the shoes that I've been wearing mostly in the videos that I've been showing in the last year or so. This shoe here is the original Kobe 6s. This is my third pair of Kobe 6s. I think they made these shoes about seven or eight years ago, and just like any other shoe, they stopped making them and they try to move on to the next series. But these were my favorite shoes for a long time. That's why I bought three pairs. I actually bought these from eBay used because after I wore out my first two pairs, I was desperate to find another pair of Kobe 6s, so I found a used pair that was still in pretty good condition. You can tell these are the Kobe 6s in the videos because of the unique color. The second pair of shoes that you'll see me playing volleyball in or training, working out in, are the Jordan 29 Lowe's. Now I actually have three pairs. But the third pair, I use that mainly to walk around and to look cool. But these are the two that I usually use to play volleyball. But I actually use these mostly to do my jump training, weightlifting, and any type of athletic training. Because uh, the Jordan 29 Lowe's are very durable, they're very comfortable, but they do feel a little bit heavier than my Kobe 6s, which is why I prefer to play in the Kobe's versus these. Uh, but because they're so durable, I like to work out really hard in them when I do my jump training. The third pair of shoes that you'll see me playing volleyball in are the Nike Air Zoom Hyper Attacks. Now these are my new favorite volleyball shoes because they are as close as it's going to get to the Kobe 6s. In fact, according to Josh Barina, who highly recommended these shoes by the way, uh, he says that these were essentially the Kobe 6s but in a new and improved version because they were so popular with the volleyball community. So Nike actually released an official volleyball shoe based on the Kobe 6 design. And I'm so happy they did because I only wore them a few times and they already feel so great and they do feel like an improved version of the Kobe 6. So big shout out to Spider Pen Weezy, also known as uh, Penwell Josh Barina. Make sure that you check out his YouTube channel and Instagram uh, for more shoe reviews. And if you have any shoe questions, Make sure you ask him because he knows a lot more. But I'll be coming out with my own shoe review very soon, so stay tuned for that. The fourth question I get is, what is my day job? 
Many of you probably think that I play volleyball, do personal training and athletic training, and I coach volleyball for a living. As much as I would love to do those things full time all day, uh, I actually can't afford to do that right now. I am hoping someday to be able to transition fully to maintaining my YouTube channel, doing athletic training and coaching volleyball, but that won't be for another couple of years. So currently my full time job is a high school art teacher. I've been a high school art teacher for about six years and I love what I do. I love working with young people, inspiring them to believe in themselves, learn critical thinking, and really achieve the goals that they have in life. I actually decided to become a high school teacher because I started coaching first and I really enjoyed working and helping people so much that I wanted to do that for a living. I currently teach ceramics and digital imaging, which is a fancy word for graphic design. So those are the two subjects that I teach in the art department at my high school. By the way, if you want to help me achieve my dream of making YouTube videos for you guys, doing athletic training and coaching volleyball and playing volleyball as my full-time job, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, spread the word, and help my channel grow, and hopefully someday I'll be able to make enough money where I can do that full-time. Also, thanks to all of you who are already subscribed and uh, are regular viewers of my videos. I really appreciate your support. Last question is what filming equipment do I use? Majority of the videos that I have on my channel are filmed with an iPhone 6, but I just got the iPhone 7 Plus in November. So as of November 2016, all my videos have been shot using the iPhone 7 Plus. I also use a makeshift tripod setup. The taller tripod that I use is the Amazon Basics 60 inch lightweight tripod. And I use a little flexible Loha iPhone tripod mount on top of that. So it's a flexible leg that grabs around the top and then from there I'm able to attach my phone. I actually wanted to show you my tripod setup so you can see how I configure it. So I have my Amazon Basics tripod fully extended and at the top you'll see the adjustable Loha tripod mount that wraps around the top of the tripod and this can attach to poles, seats uh, in case this doesn't fit. Sometimes when I go to volleyball games uh, my tripod I can't bring it in or it takes up too much space so I use this guy to attach to the seat in front. But This is my $50 setup. And then I just insert the phone here. You see how it's adjustable. This is a very inexpensive setup to record using your phone. This setup is very portable and it allows you to use any type of phone because the mount is adjustable to multiple sizes. The tripod setup only costs around $50, which is very cheap. And I'll include links to those items if you want to purchase those in the description box below. A lot of people are surprised when I tell them that I've recorded my videos using the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 7 uh, because they're pretty impressed with the HD quality uh, that's why I love Apple products. I know that there are many other phones that have great cameras, but um, I've been especially pleased with my experience with the iPhone camera. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video quality as much as I do. So those are the five most commonly asked questions from the YouTube video comments that I receive. I definitely enjoy interacting with you guys, so if you have any other questions that you would like me to answer, please leave them in the comments of my videos. Also, before you do leave a question, please make sure that you search to my YouTube channel because if you do have a question, most likely I've already answered it. So look through my FAQ videos before you provide a question because I'd rather spend my time and energy answering new questions than having to keep answering the same questions over and over again. Also, if you want me to make more of these FAQ videos, make sure that you like this video by giving it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.